We've just flown into San Antonio, Texas and met up with our ride. And now it's about a two hour trip west to Uvalde, Texas. Daniel Boone style cabins. I got a lovely Texas. Wow. This is amazing. So we're in the middle of uh, an 18,000 acre ranch and just tucked in here into these these cedars, like cedars and live oaks uh, here in central Te or south Texas. In this cozy cabin, this is just amazing. After traveling, it's always important to shoot the bow just to make sure everything is still dialed in. Wow, that was nice. Yeah, I've never in my life, I've been, since I was four years old, I've always looked around, but in Florida, you it's thick. I mean, you can't barely see the ground in most places. Out here in beautiful hill country, Texas, you can see where you're walking. And look at this almost perfect, if not perfect, arrowhead that we just found. That is so cool. First arrowhead of my life. Never found one. That's incredible. I, I mean, it's too. just perfect. You did? Yeah. Good job, Matt. This is um, this is a big one, but that's a 400 grain arrow tip. <laughs> that's for squirrels. That's a, that's, a, that's a small game head. That's awesome. Oh man, thank you, Lord. This is day number two of our Texas hunt. We're sitting the same blind that we did last night. We had tons of game that came in. We had some some pretty white tails. It's a pretty morning. It's been raining all night, and it is actually nice and chilly. And it just stopped raining maybe 30 minutes ago. So I've got a good feeling. I think these animals are going to be moving. We've spotted some Texas doll sheep that are on the. We've got a big hill, and they're just on this side of this hill. We've got a little bit of brush, a little bit of relief to be able to get in. Try to put a stalk on these sheep. There's some nice Texas dolls. But we're about, we're about three to 400 yards from them right now. It's a misty morning. We sat in the blind and nothing came in, but we've spotted these sheep, so we're gonna try to go to them, see if we can put a stalk on them. The way these sheep were positioned, the only way we could get to them is to go all the way around and come down from above. So after about an hour long stalk, we got to about the area we thought they were at. I peeked over and there they were, 25 yards right below us. Hold on, hold on. Right here, bro. Talk about a spot and stalk. He's down right there. Yes, Texas doll sheep. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, man. He was a wide one. He wasn't the widest, but he's wide. Yeah, he's down right there. He didn't go 10 yards. Slightly quarter away. Perfect. Look, 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 look right here. Just covered in blood. That's that Grim Reaper. Oh, man, here we go. Here he is. Man, look at all this blood. It's like, let's follow the river. He died right here in the Texas cactus. Let's pull him out a little bit. I gotta get in here with him. All right, that was a perfect hit. Uh, might need your help getting him out of these cactus. He's down in here. Uh, here we go. Uh, beautiful, Texas doll sheep. This is a Texas doll sheep. Look at where he's scarred up where they've been fighting. He's pretty and wide. Got some good mass. Just super solid, beautiful Texas doll sheep. We're in here in the hill country, South Texas Uvalde at the Ox Ranch. And it is a target rich environment. We put probably an hour long stalk on him. Beautiful, beautiful animal. He's pretty heavy. Especially straight uphill. Ah. So we got back from Texas. We shot this ram. Um, that was an awesome hunt. There's, there's nothing better to me than mountain bow hunting. It is just awesome. It is a workout. You probably hear me huffing and puffing chasing that ram. But um, one of my favorite meats in the world is lamb or wild sheep. Lamb is 
any sheep that's less than a year old and mutton is considered sheep that's more than a year old. So this is a wild sheep. We've got the back strap, we've got the uh, silver skin taken off of it, we've got it clean and looking pretty. And um, this recipe is gonna be phenomenal. This is gonna be a ram back strap with a cherry glaze. So I am, I mean my mouth is watering, I am so hungry just thinking about this recipe. So let's get started. First you wanna start by making a rub. Combine two tablespoons of olive oil, one and a half tablespoons of Dijon mustard, one and a half tablespoons of finely chopped fresh rosemary, one teaspoon pink Himalayan salt, one teaspoon garlic powder, around half teaspoon black pepper or to taste, and mix thoroughly. Then apply evenly to the meat. Cover and refrigerate for three to four hours. Um, last night was Thanksgiving and we just haven't had time to uh, cook this. So it's been marinating in this beautiful rub overnight. So it should have some really good flavor. Um, I, there's no doubt this recipe is gonna be packed full of flavor. So let's go ahead and get our wood fire going. All right, while that fire is heating up, we're gonna go ahead and make this glaze. Take two tablespoons lemon juice, two tablespoons cornstarch, one tablespoon sugar. We're gonna go ahead and stir this up, mix it real good. These are organic frozen cherries, so we're gonna go ahead and put these in. And I'm just gonna stir this continuously until it thickens up. You can see if you get in there, this sugar is starting to caramelize, it's starting to bubble around the edges, and it's starting to caramelize. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little potato masher, and I'm actually gonna mash these cherries up because you know one big cherry is kind of a lot for a bite and I don't want to take uh, anything from the meat I want to have even cherry glaze for every bite of meat that I have so I'm just gonna kind of smash these cherries up a little bit and I think that'll be better so yeah that looks good so this doesn't need long just needs to be heated up and if it does get a little too thick you can always add a little bit more water to it Mm. All right, so my very favorite way to grill is directly over an open flame. We've got some oak wood, I believe this is blackjack oak that we've had for a little while. It's got some really good flavor, some uh, pretty mild oak flavor. And so what we've got, we've got our back straps, they've been rubbed, and I'm gonna put that straight over high heat. And I'm looking for medium rare, so it's not gonna take long, four to five minutes on each side or so, or until medium rare, and then uh, that'll be ready to, we'll flip it, they'll be ready to pull off. We'll top it with our cherry glaze. Mm, this is gonna be awesome. The other cool thing about this grill is you can just slide it off the heat. You don't have to put your face in the flame. Oh, easy. Still kicking. That's beautiful. Just got a very light char. I really couldn't get, I didn't get my fire quite as hot as I'd like to, um, but it's okay. I didn't want to overcook this meat. I'd rather under undercook it a little bit than overcook it when it comes to wild game. That's a match made in heaven right there. I cannot wait to try this. This looks so good, you guys. Wow. Packed full of flavor. That is so delicious. Savory of the rosemary and the mustard with the sweet glaze combination. That is awesome. You've got to try this recipe. All right, if this tastes anything like it smells, I am in for a big treat. All right, that is a perfect uh, medium rare to medium. Got a little bit of cherry. Mm. I can taste the rosemary, and that's how that's how tender that was. Super tender, absolutely delicious. The cherry perfectly complements it. It doesn't overpower it at all. Amazing recipe. This is awesome. I apologize. I could sit here and eat this all night. I've got to have self control to share some of Glorian, but. You know, Fred Bear, the godfather of bow hunting, wild sheep was his favorite wild game meat. And it's very obvious why. Some people can't get past the smell of sheep, the animal itself, and they, they kind of think it has a funky smell. But if it's prepared right, if it's aged right, if it's cooked right, dynamite. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and it earned your subscription. Either way, thanks for watching. And until next time, stay wild.